At GTRI, we are developing an integrated system that is intended to help collect data relevant to traumatic events that soldiers are experiencing in Afghanistan. Primarily, it's intended to capture data from blast events that soldiers are being exposed to. What we don't really have is information about how a soldier was injured. We don't really know in an underbelly blast the, all the pieces of the puzzle. So getting this type of information allows us to build a more complete picture. You can also take that information to inform the physician or the medical team to say, this person was in this type of event. We expect these types of injuries, and they start looking for them. We know people are coming back with these injuries called mild traumatic brain injury. It was the first system of its type to record any of the data relevant to the environment that those soldiers were exposed to that we think produces those injuries. The vest is, is made up of two or three major components, so we developed this applique that allows our system to be strapped onto existing body armor, protective equipment. Embedded in that uh, applique are pressure sensors that let us look at pressure from the front and the back of the soldier, and then the heart of the system is something we call a soldier body unit, an SBU. It's basically a data recorder as well as it contains an accelerometer to capture that shock data and also uh, the system on the soldier integrates with the vehicle. So when the soldier enters a vehicle, it makes an automatic association with the vehicle. The bottom line is we hope that we can help soldiers now and in the future uh, we can help prevent injury to these soldiers once we understand the root cause of the injury itself. So when we finally realized that we needed this data and we came to the folks at Georgia Tech, what has happened here is nothing short of a miracle. It is a system that does exactly what we want it to do to collect that data that will be so critical. The potential civilian applications for technology such as this are, are tremendous and they are not restricted just to uh, environmental extremes or people who are performing physical activities. I think we're going to see this uh, continuation of these types of technologies and they're going to be far beyond just the Department of Defense type applications.